So I've heard one of the first steps to a successful day is making your bed. I kind of buy it actually. It just gets you rolling in the right direction. Kind of insane that a package is delivered, dropped off at your front door, and 10 seconds later, you get an email saying it's at your front door. I love it. I just, it's, it's amazing. It blows my mind every time. Yum. Cranberries. Mmm. No, raspberries. The moment of truth. Have I been giving all of you fairly accurate weights for the past year? Uh, a little nervous, a little nervous, just saying. Yeah! 8.2 ounces! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, I was so nervous. Oh my goodness. You know, you know, I'm just, I really do believe the weight of a shoe does make a difference depending on what you want to accomplish in your training schedule, regimen, plan, whatever you want to call it. So I was really nervous. This is a, you know, $8 I think I paid off of Amazon for this guy. This guy is, I think it was $40. So a nicer scale, not saying it's the best in the world, but a nicer scale. So now it's crazy, but I, I just wanted to double check and make sure I'm not putting out bad information onto the interwebs. There you go. Brooks Launch GTS 8 is today's shoe. So I was going to film the run today, do a little vlogging out there for you all, but I uh, decided that today is not that day. Need to uh, address some developments that just arose back at the house. And uh, so we'll see you in about two hours. All right, story time on the vlog as I wait here. Oh man, I never I never go to Starbucks in the middle of the day and I definitely never get a drink at Starbucks. If I go to Starbucks, I'm usually using their internet. But today, a little bit of a splurge, uh, getting a little vanilla latte and here's the deal. Um, and by the way, I'm, I'm sitting in this parking lot waiting for a gentleman. Yes, today, we're talking about cash on the and money in general on the vlog. Um, so here's the deal. I'm not saying, I've never shared this before, and I'm not saying I'm proud of it, but listen, we all have to play the cards that were dealt on this earth, right? I mean, that's part of being a human being. You got to play the cards and you got to make decisions that you believe are the best for yourself. And of course, if you have a family, for your family. All right. So what uh, the little detail here is that, and I'm just looking around, make sure this guy's not here, um, is that I would register for races based on how much prize money they offered. Yeah, when times were tight, when financially we were digging, True Love and I, trying to figure out how to make this YouTube thing work, it was, uh, it was a battle. And I would literally, as I, and right now, the reason I thought of this 
is that as I plan out 2021 racing, and yes, I am uh, about to register for my 10, 10K tune-up race, you're going to be shocked. If I go with the one I'm leaning toward, you're going to be shocked at where it is. But anyway, um, I haven't registered yet. I'll announce that very soon. But I would register for races based on how much prize, no, no matter the distance, the surface, whether or not I was frankly ready or not. And I'm talking about like two, three, uh, and four years ago. And the first check that I received from a race was the Pikes Peak Ascent. I think it was 2017. I think it was so almost four years ago. I took third place, Pikes Peak Ascent, for six hundred dollars and when true love and i got that check i mean it was it was a game changer i remember like oh, we could breathe for one month where the that we didn't have to literally count down to the dollar how we were going to make it work and i know i'm not the only one out there that has you know whether they struggled right struggled in the past or struggling right now with respect to just making life work financially. All right. Now enough of that story. All right. I'm just, uh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. When did you pick it? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Man. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Luck. Awesome. Yep. Have a good one. Five years in the making. Henry's trying to fall asleep. And you guys know that I can talk a little loud. So I'm just gonna sit here for about two minutes. Shh. Okay. I think he fell asleep. We'll see. Let's press ahead here we go all right i gotta talk in a normal voice hopefully it doesn't wake him up speaking of waking up i woke up this morning what is today i don't know february early february 2021 feeling a little sentimental about life and i, I pinned it down to the fact that this daily vlog is approaching five years and I've been mentioning it a little bit. Maybe, you know, I've just been mentioning it. It's been on my mind, the fact that we've been doing this here on YouTube, communicating around, you know, from my, you know, humble abode in Denver, Colorado, out to all of you around the world. And it just hit me this morning in a big, big way. Um, and it was exasperated. Is that the right word? It was uh, increased this feeling of sen the sentimental feeling inside me uh, from two letters that arrived today. All right, I'm gonna open one that's kind of fun, uh, and then another one that may not be as fun, but it actually is fun. All right, so here we go. First one arrived from my aunt. Shout out to Aunt Sue. Thank you, Aunt Sue, for sending this. So this is from, yes, Naples, Florida. You better believe it. There you go. It is the sports section. It feels, so, maybe this is why I'm feeling sentimental. It feels so good to hold a real newspaper. It's crazy. It's, I, I haven't held a real newspaper in a long time. Anyway, there I am on the starting line, Naples Half Marathon 2021. Very cool, good stuff. I'm glad I stood on this side of the road and not the other side. Anyway, so thank you, Aunt Sue, for sending that. But I would say the main reason I'm feeling a little sentimental today is because of the Internal Revenue Service. And I could not be more grateful, excited, um, to the moon for the fact that I get to pay more, I'll just put it that way, in taxes from 2020. This journey on YouTube has not been easy. As I mentioned, actually, just a minute ago in the car, you know, when I was seeking out running races based on prize money. I'm not proud of that. I'm not, I'm not recommending that. So when 
a letter arrives from Google, it could be concerning. It, is, it does involve the Internal Revenue Service. It does involve taxes. But when I look at the past year of my work here on YouTube and what is on this letter, I am, uh, I don't even know. It, it makes me wonder, wow, maybe this really was the plan all along. Since I was a seventh grader, when I bought my first camcorder to this moment right here, where as a father uh, of four boys in Denver, Colorado, with a mortgage and diapers and baby food and everything else that all many of you out there have to purchase as well, to this right here, it just is an affirmation that we got a dream in this world, we've got to work hard in this world, and we've got, you know, I'm always saying we've got to discern what is the best path in our running, in life, in our careers, in our schoolwork, in our family life. And yes, I'm going to say, um, in the equipment that we purchase. Okay. So today, because of the growth of this channel, which frankly, yeah, I do the work, I do the filming, I do the editing, I do the uploading, I do all of it. But if you weren't coming back on a regular basis, if you were not spreading the word about this channel, I'd be sitting here talking to myself and that wouldn't be much fun. So I got to give credit to all of you as well for uh, <laughs> hitting subscribe, for trusting a little bit of your time every single day to me, okay? And on that note, I'm not stopping. I'm not going away. I'm not a flash in the pan. I love what I do. And again, I think I knew as a seventh grader that someday I would be doing a career in video production, film production. And so this camera right here that's shaking right now is a Canon 1D. This camera is five years old. All right, it's kind of ancient and it's really heavy. But back in the day, 2016 roughly, um, it was top of the line. And so now I'm still going to film with the Canon 1D, but as we progress forward as a YouTube family, I want to make sure that I am increasing the quality of these daily vlogs. I'm not satisfied with what I'm putting out on the internet every single day here on YouTube. I am not even close to satisfied, okay? Again, your time, you come back on a regular basis. I want to honor your time by making sure you are learning, you're entertained, you feel a little bit of love through the camera lens. I'm, I'm serious that, um, that we are inspiring you to make your life great. I don't know how else to say it, okay? And again, I'm feeling a little sentimental today, but that's how I, that's where, that's where I'm at. So therefore, um, real quick side note, and I know I'm going long here, but this is just gonna be a long vlog, all right? I purchased an M6 Mark II. I'm a Canon guy, and this is my first mirrorless camera. The Canon 1D, heavy, bulky, and a lot of people ask me what camera I film with. By the way, this is a Mark II, just so you know. So I picked up this camera in order to increase the quality of the daily vlog. And I'll explain in more detail. Let me know in the comments. Um, actually, why not? Like, question of the day, what questions do you have for me? And I will not be able to answer all of them. I know that for a fact. But what questions do you have for me about the gear, about the YouTube channel, and yeah, I'll leave it there because I know you have a lot of questions and I will, I'll probably have to do a live stream all about my filming gear at some point. Uh, it's just, I just know there'll be too many questions, which is amazing because you guys come back every single day. So that's the story. That's why I got the cash out. That's why I could not be more excited about receiving this tax calling from Google to submit to the IRS, Internal Revenue Service. I'm coming for you. I'm not afraid. And um, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. Oh, 
are we ever just getting started everybody thank you thank you thank you okay i gotta stop i don't even know what to toss it back to um an old vlog old vlog you know what maybe the first vlog i you know that's always a fun one to toss it back to losing pearls with joe dimaggio losing pearl i think you'll notice a little bit of a difference in the vlog quality from almost five years ago right there right there right there all right see beauty work hard work hard and love each other see you tomorrow